Warriors NRL for next year back today with a little injury update for you. Now, as you sh should know already, Petahiku is expected to be out for probably a month due to a uh, injury he picked up with uh, 10 minutes into the second half last Saturday against the Canberra Raiders. And it says here that the full extent of the injury and his likely return to play date are expected to be confirmed later today following scans late yesterday. The initial diagnosis indicates a medial crucial ligament strain which could sideline him up to four weeks. So yeah, big blow there because now we've um we're now missing four of our first choice starting players with Chanel Harris to be there out for up to twelve weeks and uh your Jermaine Tanoa Brown who's uh serving his, his uh suspension for a crusher tackle so quite quite a few injuries uh quite a few players out so yeah not 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 ideal but um we managed to get through it last week it's going to be a bit tougher this week the roosters but yeah big 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 blow not but for uh peter Heku and the warriors um masala motoya as you guys should know already i did my, my preview for the warriors roosters game round four game a couple of hours ago and um, yeah Marcelo Motoy is going to be playing that position this weekend against the Roosters so yeah that's a bit of an injury update on uh, the players at the moment who are set to miss quite a bit of game time so hopefully they have a speedy recovery and are back soon so yeah best of luck to those players who are currently injured and hopefully it'll be back sooner rather than later so yeah please don't forget to hit that subscribe button give the video a like that'll be much appreciated and the goal is to get to 500 subscribers by the end of april so if you aren't already subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one